Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder guys. Today I'm going to be playing at the VFW or as it's more commonly known the Flak Toaster or Flak Wagon whatever you want to call it. So for one voucher in the Battlefield Engineering event you can either pick up the I-180S, the VFW or the PR-122 BIS. Obviously I went straight for this one because it looks more fun. I will get around to unlocking all of them. But this is definitely the one that I wanted first and to play out first because it just looked absolutely bizarre. So this obviously is a anti-aircraft um, gun and we're going to be using it as a tank destroyer because it doesn't have radio fuses. But I will still try and give, um, give shooting a plane down a shot because why not? <laughs> you know, it is a flat gun. If anyone can shoot down a plane, it's going to be this. So we're going to give it a go. But this does have a decent amount of um, elevation, so we can obviously take it up and shoot. However, it's not the fastest at elevating, it is not the fastest at rotating either. So we're going to have to probably use it like a in case tank destroyer where we're actually having to turn the entire thing just enough to get the, the cannon round at a decent pace, especially at close range if anyone closes on us in like M18s or anything. So we have 10 seconds on the rotation, minus three on the depression and plus 90, as I said, on the elevation. We also have a six second reload with an ace crew, 6.4 if you're just expert in it with a maxed out crew slot. The armor, well, it doesn't really carry much armor. 20 at the front, 14 at the sides and 14 at the back. There's only 12 millimeters on the gun shield and these only count for five millimeters. So your crew is very, very susceptible to being shot to pieces, especially the guys that sit up here. But don't worry, I can tell you how to kill this in a single shot. Shoot it right here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here anywhere. <laughs> anywhere on this, this front glacis here, this lower glacis, anywhere. For the simple reason, if you do, it's going to go straight through the transmission and hit all the ammunition which is sat right on top of these fuel tanks. Every time I've shot one in the lower glacis, it's just blown it to pieces. When I've tried to MG and shoot the cannon and shoot the crew out, it's taken multiple shots. Your best bet is to always shoot for the ammunition. If you're at the side, it's an easy shot. The transmission does tend to get in the way, but if you can get enough shrapnel through, it will one shot it every single time. But this does have a sort of an ace up its sleeve. This does 37 miles an hour. Now, I don't know if it's going to get up to 37 miles an hour because I know what Warfinder stats cards are like. They're, they're, they're open to interpretation, let's say. <laughs> There's been quite a few armoured cars that they put in it that claim it goes at a certain speed. And then when you try to get that certain speed, even on perfectly flat paved terrain it doesn't quite get there but we will see we will see now we're going to have a quick glance over the ammunition for this so as i say we don't get any fuses like radio fuses for shooting at planes but we do get the panzer granada 3943 and this is probably one of the best shells we've, we're not going to be using apcr because it just makes lots of little holes it does incredible pen but to be honest the penetration on this is more than enough at 5.7 to kill anything we come up against. Even if we get up here to 6... Oh, sorry. Even if we get up here to 6.7, we still have an incredibly good pen on this. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to have a few games with the skirts up, like these sides up. And then afterwards... I'm going to put them down. I just want to see how much difference these make. If having these up really helps the crew, because it is only 5mm, you know, MGs will go through the side. But if we have it up and they survive more than when I have it down, then we know to keep them up all the time. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's gameplay. Oh, oh, oh. Shit, shit, shit. Turn, turn, turn. Critically hit him. Come on, come on, reload. No, dead. No, I'm not. Come on, 
Come on! Oh, thank God. Oh, shit. There's another one over there as well, I think. Come on, turn. 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 Oh. That is a prime example of people that don't know where to shoot this. But I am down to two crew. <laughs> Okay, let's move over. Let's try and get into a good position. Our reload rate is going to be completely fucked now, but still alive. And that's the main thing. Okay, there is one there. There is one. This is going to be bad if they get if I get seen. <laughs> Can I get a shot? I'm just gonna have to bounce it. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Reload, 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 <laughs> reload. Oh, thank god. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Fuck's sake, my damn loader was dead and it couldn't get there quick enough. Uh, try again anyway. Gonna get bombed. No, I'm not. Not after me. No, missed him. Worth a try. Hang on. Ah, oh, too high. It's another one. Come on, come on. Oh, almost. Keep climbing up this. Damn, there are so many planes in the air at the moment. I don't know where that bear cat went. I hope I don't get spotted though. I probably will get spotted crossing this open field. Oh shit. Please don't see me. You see me. No. Oh damn. But he yet crashed, that's good. He might have hit me, killed a crewman, but still alive. Oh, fuck off. Undamaged. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck's sake. Ah, oh, yes, two galores. Yeah, and they're all fucking camping. <sighs> Isn't it nice when you get a new event and everyone camps and don't move? It's just brilliant. On to the next game. Okay guys, welcome to the field of Normandy. We have a lovely domination, which makes it easy for us to pick up a nice position. We're gonna sit back here, hopefully scare out a few enemy tanks. There's one moving right there. Do I reckon that is maybe 800 or so? Oh no, it's more. Okay, so we're looking at about 1200 plus. He pulls forward anyway from behind that house. There's one by a church. Oh, damn, a little bit lower. Come on. No, higher. Oh, he's, he's running away.
There's one. Oh! Damn it! That was a really good hit as well. Really good hit. This doesn't have the best zoom on it. Oh, lovely, Jay, that. This does not have a good zoom. This is supposed to be a flak bus, flak wagon, flak toaster, you know, for shooting at planes. Where's the zoom? Where's the zoom at, Gaijin? Please? It's really hard to spot them, especially on this if they're covered in bushes as well. Okay, that guy is sort of coming out from down. Let's increase my rangefinder. Oh, it's not very quick. Come on. We're going to call that 12.50. And see. It might even be something like 12.25. We don't know. Okay, lovely. There we go. 12.50 is perfect. Still one behind that house. It's a pity you can't blast it down. Oh, I think he's dead. Nope. He missed with his bomb. Oh, shit cakes. Go away. Shoot, I don't want to shoot at the moment. Come on, come on, come on. No, it wasn't a good shot. Is he coming back from me? No, I think he's after that HE219. God damn it. So the worst part about this is there's really no protection for the crew. That guy is still behind that fucking ass. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, it was too high. Damn it. Come on, come at me. Come at me. There's so many plays, I don't know where to look. Please, that's it, Flak Bus or Flak Panzer. Please shoot them down. This really would benefit from having radio fuses, I think. Okay, let's move up and see if I can see this guy. No, nah, too many trees in the way. I might benefit from moving up slightly, I think. However, that guy is still there, oh my god. I really can't see him. Let's see. Is that top? I think that's the top of him. No. A little lower. I can kind of see him. I think I think it's an IS-2. Ah, oh, T-25. Or, no, it was an IS-2. It was an IS-2 over there. Okay, screw it. We're going to push up. Holy shit, holy shit. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Fucking potato truck. Oh my god. No, fuck off. Oh my days. Yeah, we're dead. 
Oh, oh no we're not, oh thank god. Jesus Christ. He did so much damage. Holy shit. Well, that was an incredibly close shave there. God damn it. That little bastard came out of nowhere. Oh, stop, stop, stop. No, it just won't turn. Why is it so slow? Jesus Christ! Nah, it's worth a shot. Turn, turn, turn. Oh! I hit him! I've hit him! Oh! If I get the kill for that, I'm going to be very happy. Come on. No, I don't think I will. Holy shit, I can't believe I hit him though. Oh, fuck! No way! Oh, look at that shit! Okay guys, welcome to the Sands of Sinai. We're gonna attempt to get up here. There's a really nice little spot I can sit by. And hopefully, I can spot a few tanks. This is quite a nice elevated position and it does have a slope on the other side so that I don't have to worry about the gun depression. I can just concentrate on having all that elevation which is amazing. Okay, should. Oh, they're already on the cap. Hang on. Oh, I just caught a glimpse of him as well. Okay, hang on. Critical. There we go, there's one. Lovely. Check B. No, it seems clear. Okay, let's concentrate on A for the moment, I think. I'm going to keep switching backwards and forwards. We're going to have a look, because there's going to be a few that are definitely going to go for B. I just want to try and get these ones that have jumped onto A if possible. Oh, we've got another one. Fast mover. Let's see. Oh, slightly high, I think. I was zoomed all the way in, it's the worst part. Come on. Okay, we've got one for B. Shit, there's one now. Too low. Too low again. No, oh, he must have been dead. Damn it. Oh, I see. on oh yeah you better fucking duck your ass Dan one in the desert no he's dead but there's another one coming around this rock 
Go on. There we go. Thank you. Where's that guy up on this rock? Where is he? No, I think he's got Dan. I think he knows better. <laughs> A little bit here, Let's see if I can see A again. But there's a lot going on at the moment, and then it slows right down. Oh, there went someone's turret. Uh, too slow for that one. Didn't see until it was too late. Nope. Wait until he comes out this side, I think. There we go. Oh! Hey, he's proper moving. Yeah, I see you. I do see you. Oh my good God, where was this? Oh! And he just caught the fuel tank and the ammo. Damn it. Right, let's move right over here a bit more. I want to try and protect that lower... Um, well, lower glaciers, the sides, <laughs> where the ammunition is in general. I can't quite work out where he shot me from. I think it was somewhere over past B. I think he's either dead or moved on. Okay, here we go. C1. Let's let him come forward a bit. There's another one now. Let's head higher. Thank you. Where's this guy? There he is. Oh! There we go. Got him with that one. No! Fuck off, plane! <laughs> oh, he crashed. Sweet. <laughs> Don't do it. I've got a really good position here. Do not fuck it up for me. <laughs> Hopefully, I see another. I think we're going to lose this one. I'm not really fussed if we win or lose. I'm just happy that I'm getting a good game with this because this isn't an easy vehicle to get along with. It is so vulnerable to absolutely everything. You've got to be really careful. Okay, we're going to wait, we're going to give it a minute, we've got some tanks going on to A, so we're going to chill out for a second, calm things down and see if we get anyone coming back for a second attempt, might even pick up if I can kill one of these planes if they come at me. Yes, never a truer word spoken in jest. Thank you very much, Yak90. <laughs> okay, are we going to get any more tanks? I think it's probably game over. What are we on? Five kills isn't bad. Five kills isn't bad. I don't think we're going to get this guy though. Oh, I can barely see him. Oh, shit, that went far off. Ah, oh, damn it. Ended before I could get another shot off. Okay, guys, welcome back to the hangar. So before I get into talking about the VFW, I just need to make a correction to the beginning of the video. 
when I was talking about the reload speed in particular, the aced reload speed, I said it was six seconds because that's what it said on the stat card. However, that is now miraculously changed for some reason and it's saying it is four seconds on the reload. So I do apologize for that, guys. I wasn't trying to mislead anyone by getting the information wrong. I was actually misled myself there by War Thunder and whatever weird and unusual bug that was that was lying to me. So I do apologize, guys. But onto the VFW, it is pretty fun. I must admit, it's got decent speed. Its maneuverability is not too bad. The reload is absolutely insane. However, the survivability of this is questionable. You can survive quite a bit, but when people are shooting at you and they are determined, that's it. You, you, you ain't going to get a chance to kill them. As soon as you start putting a crewman back into the gunner seat or the loader seat, they're killed again and again and again because they just don't have the protection that they really need. 7.62s don't really affect you that much when you have the side panels up. However, 50 cals just rip straight through and do masses of damage. Any kind of plane coming over as well, shooting down onto the top of you just absolutely decimates. Not all the time, but if they've got a good aim, it's pretty much game over. But I still enjoy it. I still think it's fun. But what I will say is the traverse of the gun is incredibly slow and tends to be a hindrance. And then you couple that with the, um, the, the poor zoom and it doesn't make for pleasurable playing. I think the zoom needs to be reworked. you got to remember, this is a flak bus. It's, it's a flak gun. It is predominantly designed for shooting at planes. So, why has it got such a shit zoom? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, it makes no sense. If it can go plus... 90 degrees almost straight up then it is designed to shoot planes it should have a better zoom if something's flying along at 15 20 000 feet plus this should be able to shoot at it maybe not hit it but at least see it and shoot at it if you do that with this you'll have no chance of hitting anything and i would like to see them putting in the fused rounds for this as well to make it a little bit more of a anti-aircraft slash tank destroyer vehicle. However, I did shoot there in a Yak-90. <laughs> I wasn't sure that I was going to get a plane for the video, but I'm very, very happy that I did. So guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you are new to the channel, guys, and you have enjoyed today's gameplay, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you do, hit the notification bell for updates on future content. Also, guys, a thumbs up is appreciated. It does help the channel. And until next time, guys, I will see you soon and have fun.